Hi everybody, this morning's story comes from Luke's Gospel, chapter 5, verses 17 to 26. It's a story about Jesus healing a man who hadn't been able to walk. If you remember a few weeks ago, we told the story of Peter and John. They went to the temple and they found a man who was 40 years old, who had never been able to walk. He sat there every day begging for people to give him coins so he could have a place to stay and buy some food. He expected them to give him a coin, but they said, we don't have any money, but we'll give you what we have. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, stand up and walk. And you know what happened then? His ankles grew strong and he was able not just to stand up, not just to walk, but he was able to jump in the air and dance. And he praised and gave thanks to God. It was really hard for a person born then who couldn't walk. Now we have wheelchairs. Maybe you know someone who's in a wheelchair. Sometimes people are in a wheelchair their whole lives. Some people are there only after an accident or while they're recovering from a surgery. We're lucky at Epworth, we have a ramp that would help people with wheelchairs, but it also helps people who have trouble walking. Some use canes and some use walkers. There's an elevator at Epworth too, and they didn't have elevators when this man lived. They didn't even have escalators. But you know what they did have? They had lots and lots and lots of steps, like going into the temple in Jerusalem to be able to make your offering or to pray. And this man couldn't get there except on a mat. The story today begins with another man who couldn't walk and he was sitting on a mat. And people were very excited and they were running because they heard that Jesus had come to their village and they knew from the stories they'd heard about him, he was able to heal people. And this man thought, I wonder if Jesus could heal me, but he had no way to get there. But he was lucky because he had friends who knew about Jesus coming and they wanted him to get better too. So they put him on his mat and they picked him up and they carried him. They thought surely Jesus can help him to learn how to walk. But when they got to the house, they saw the crowd was so big, they couldn't get anywhere near and they were carrying their friend and he was kind of heavy. But you know what they did? They didn't let that stop him. They climbed up on the roof. They were so excited to get him. They said, we can cut a hole in the roof. We can let him down and Jesus will certainly see him then and heal him. And that's what happened. Jesus was so excited and he looked at him and he said, friend, your sins are forgiven. Now, maybe that seems like a strange thing to say and the Pharisees who were there really thought so. They didn't like hearing what Jesus had to say. They said, who does he think he is? Only God can forgive sins. But Jesus said to them, which is easier to say your sins are forgiven or get up and walk? And then Jesus took the man by the hand, the one they had lowered in through the roof. He took him by the hand and he said, stand up and walk. And you know what happened then, don't you? The man was able to walk. He jumped up and he rolled up his mat and he danced home praising God and everyone in the crowd was amazed. Let's have a prayer. Thank you, God, for healing our bodies and forgiving our sins. Help us to be like the ones who brought their friend to Jesus because they trusted him enough to let nothing stop them. We love and trust you too. Amen. Now it's our turn. I wonder who we can bring to Jesus. Maybe we can invite a friend to worship with us online or to come out.